Hey folks, out here uh, with some uh, late breaking news. Some of you guys may have already heard it about, heard about this, but um, just want to show you guys this uh, um, urgent information. Um, just in case, I need to get this info out so you guys can be safe. Navy SEAL admits nukes to be detonated nationwide for martial law agenda. There were the urgent codes, code words my Navy SEAL contact spoke to a high-level military security source in Washington, D.C. only a few months ago. In the U.S. military, the code name for a serious nuclear weapons incident is Broken Arrow. The rogue nukes were planted across various locations in America and were set to detonate May 6, 2013. Testimony of Navy SEAL sniper and explosives expert. This is probably the most urgent articles slash emails I have ever sent out in my life. None of the following information was surfed off the net. I just met personally with this man who gave me the following information. It talks about he spoke personally with a military insider. This is the fulfillment of my article written years ago about Operation Ring of Fire in which an insider admitted that one of the final tactics which the New World Order forces will use to irrevocably trigger martial law in America. A series of massive explosions across the nation forming as it were a ring of fire. Sorry if I'm reading slow folks, just kind of tired. Alright, so here we go. More on it. The nukes, which the recent military contact helped to defuse were obviously a perfect fulfillment of the warning that came from a potential friend and source many years ago, who was later murdered by the government, Ed Pack. See following articles about Operation Ring of Fire below. I went ahead and I clicked on those articles. This was, uh, it says, Open Your Eyes, Operation Ring of Fire, Warning from the Grave. Thursday, November 20th, 2008. Feds murder U.S. Patriot Ed Pack for filming Waco and more. Let me introduce you to Ed Pack, a true American patriot and hero. Ed and his wife Carol live in Charlottesburg, South Carolina with their children and grandchildren. Blah, 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 blah. It says, but underneath, Ed was a red-blooded American patriot who believed in the Constitution and American sovereignty. Ed felt compelled to research the coming martial law scenario in which America will be stripped of all of its freedoms and forced to come under the United Nations in military dictatorship instead. Ed was a brilliant researcher, a professional computer hacker, able to penetrate into deeply convert or covert sorry, government websites to obtain classified information. He also had contact with deep internal moles within the government, military, and in fact within the White House itself. Such access to sensitive information and its sources enabled Ed to uncover much of the future agenda of the New World Order for America. Through his internal contacts, Ed was able to warn me three months before the bombing of the Mura, or Mura building in Oklahoma City that such an event was scheduled to occur. Sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. So, there you go. Man, it's just crazy. Government would be the culprit, and that it would be used to defame America's militias, so hatred by the U.S. government, and the rush secretly awaiting anti-terrorism. Secretly awaiting anti-terrorism. Legislation threw on the wings of the public outcry and sentiment. Legislation he warned me that was simple or simply written to put more government controls and restraints on American people. Ed warned me that his moles also uncovered Operation Ring of Fire. In fact, this strategy was planned directly from the White House itself, he said. Operation Ring of Fire is one of the last strategies the New World Order will use to irrevocably bring down martial law nationwide. It consists of a massive, well-planned explosions across the nation, creating, as it were, a ring of fire. The U.S. government will blame it on Al-Qaeda, Bin Laden, or numerous other terrorist organizations. North Korea, Iran. 
that in fact it will be our own U.S. military black ops instead. God, I hope not. You know, I, I, I don't think our own military will do anything like that. I, if anything, it's going to be the U.N. military, not our own boys. And on top of all of this, Ed was at Waco. So let's go down here. Essentially, Ed was a spy for the American Patriots. And for this, the United States government decreed, Ed Pack must die. And I was present to watch as it all happened over the period of two years. Ed Pack was systematically targeted, terrorized, and forced into poverty and hunger as his employers were threatened that their businesses would be destroyed if they continued to hire him. Bullet holes appeared in the windows of his home by night. His car windows were shattered also by government bullets. Rags were stuffed into the shattered glass holes because Ed was too poor to be able to afford to have those window panes properly replaced. You guys want to go ahead and look into all this? Just craziness, you know, just crazy, crazy stuff. Also, warning signs that martial law may be imminent. Sorry if you guys hear all that squeaking sound in the background. It's my chinchillas running on their wheel. <laughs> Alright, so there you go, folks. If you guys want to look into this, this was also just put up. It says, warning signs that martial law may be imminent. This was released August 27th, 2009 from American Holocaust and the coming New World Order. So there you go, folks. I just wanted to get that information out to you. You know, go ahead and read these articles. Please get this information out if you can. If you don't know how to make a video, I have a tutorial video on how to make YouTube videos. Um, in my video section, just check on all my videos. You'll see it. I uploaded it about a week or two ago. So you guys can help get this information out because if this is real, we got something to worry about. You know, first off, there's those drills that they're running in California. Um, on the 28th of this, this month. We already know that Sandy Hook was staged. You know, it was all faked. We already know now that the Boston bombings were faked. Nobody's telling us what happened in Texas. You know, I think it was a missile. But, you know, like the one girl, like there's a video of a girl saying, Oh, I seen a plane. There was a plane that crashed. You know, and honestly, that explosion looked like a mushroom cloud to me. So if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at that, you know, and just realize what's going on here. I mean, think about it. Hurricane Katrina, martial law. Superstorm Sandy, martial law. Boston bombings, martial law. Even Connecticut was put under a partial martial law. The Boston bombings were a false flag attack, so they can use a huge, a large city to see how well they can enforce martial law and get the citizens to comply. This image of our freedom will no longer exist if we let these bastards take over. It is our God-given right for freedom. And it seems that the days are upon us when the battle between heaven and hell commences the battle between good and evil it's already happening in the heavens if you don't believe me I actually have a video it's called the end is near part one of part five halfway through that video you'll see three UFOs in the sky and a huge blast in Indianapolis that sets off car alarms, blows out windows, and everything. Check that video out. Battle right now between good and evil is commencing. Tribulation is near. Prepare yourselves. Get right with Christ. And amen and God bless you all.